This is a teardown of a Cisco PIX501 firewall. And it's a nice little smaller unit. Has some density to it. But we'll see what's inside. Should just be the one screw and then uh, the little violence. Now oh, you screwed over. I think I might have to pry this one open. That's not going to be big enough. Might have to go get a proper screwdriver for prying. <laughs> See if I can hit it from the top, maybe. Nope. Well, this should slide off. Just gotta spank it a few times, I guess. <laughs> mm. All right, I'm gonna go get a proper screwdriver. All right, this one should be better. Nope, not the right size. I think it's too big. I don't want to do something wrong here and stab my table. I kind of like this table. Well, <laughs> it's not letting go. Hmm. Don't see anything else. So normally, with covers like this, they just kind of slide apart. There we go. I think we finally got it. This one's just extra stubborn. There we are. And there's the inside. A nice little socketed uh, CR2032 battery there. And not too much to see on the board. Sticky thermal uh, transfer tape on that. Oh, it's an AMD processor. Seems labeled any useful. Doesn't mean to me. I also wonder if the 133 AC means it's 133 megahertz, though. Got a combination of Intel and AMD on this board. It says flash on it, so it's probably the flash storage for booting off of. Looks like some Samsung memory chips there, and it's probably Intel network controllers. Yeah, there's two of them, so it's probably the see if it, Intel network controllers for the ports on the back. And can't really. Yeah, not sure what that chip does. Don't feel like looking it up. <laughs> But I guess the next thing to do will be to unscrew the board and see if there's anything interesting on the other side. I have a feeling not, though. Also, it's crazy how heavy this thing is. It's most of the weight's in the steel, apparently, for the case. This did run off an external power supply, and I believe the label, let's see here. 3.3 volts, 4.5 amps. <laughs> Quite a interesting power supply choice there. But I guess it probably makes sense since that's probably the operating voltage of most of these chips here. Zoom back out, and yeah, nothing to see on the bottom. Just a bunch of passives and stuff. Don't know what those are. Those might be resistor networks. Or capacitor networks. Oh no, that is right, resistor network. Pretty sure that's what RN7 means. <laughs> but, anywho, yeah, just a quick short one. So, hopefully that was interesting, and thanks for watching.